Hey brothers and sisters, today is July 24th, 2018. Um, last year in 2017, I had a dream of seeing a long rusty bent nail lying in the dirt in our backyard. And the next day my husband and son were playing in the backyard and went to the exact place in the dirt where I had, where I had seen in the dream that um, long rusty bent nail. I quickly told my husband about it and he looked at my son and he had just picked up a handful of dirt and in the dirt in his hand was the exact same nail I had dreamt about the night before. Then I heard the Holy Spirit say clearly, you can trust me with the smaller things, now trust me with the greater things. This happened right before we were about to leave to go to Johns Hopkins Hospital to see what type of leukodystrophy our little boy had. So I was very nervous and fearful. I can't count the number of times I've cried out with my heart broken to the Lord about my son and about all the suffering in this world, especially what's happening to all the children. The Holy Spirit constantly reminds me to trust God with these things. I've also cried out to the Lord about all the people in my life I tried to warn or to bring to Christ that won't listen or hear and all they do is mock and scoff. He's told me that what matters is that I continue to do so and to trust God with the rest. He has given me many dreams of seeds and planting them and just so many dreams of seeds. It's amazing. Um, we have to keep planting these seeds, brothers and sisters. I know it, it can be frustrating when people don't listen and they just mock and scoff. And I know that it hurts because we're, we're just trying to, to help them. And, but, but I really believe from what the Holy Spirit has taught me that even in those seeds, even if those seeds aren't growing now, that nothing we have planted will be wasted. So the seeds that aren't growing now that we've planted, let us just pray over them always and believe and trust in our faithful God that he will cause them to grow. And I just wanted to read some scriptures to you guys. I also wanted to mention that um, in Matthew 13, it, it, Jesus talks about a lot of different parables about seeds, and it's, it's really good to read that. So uh, Mark 13, and I'm going to read from the book of Revelation, and it's Revelation 5, 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And then I'm going to read Revelation 8, 3 through 5. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came, came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it on, into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. So just wanted to share this with you guys and just just keep praying. Just keep praying and just believe and trust God with these greater things that burden our hearts. I love you all. God bless you.